Hi, Alexander. How are you today? Hi, I'm good. Oh, that's nice to hear that. Were you working during the night or during the day shift? Um, in the day. In the day. Okay, so that's nice. Are you going to rest tomorrow or did you rest yesterday? Oh, yesterday. Oh, you rest yesterday. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay, that is good. And how are you doing with the platform? Have you finished it? Um, yes, but no totality. Oh, not completely. That is not completely, yes. Okay. So that's nice. Uh, well, uh, yesterday I saw that they sent um, a message that said that uh, so that the certificates were ready for the ones who had completed at least the 75% of the platform. So that's very good. Okay. Have you completed the 75% or not? Um, Less than that? Uh, yes, yes. Okay. Uh, a little more. Okay, okay, that's good. All right, so um, in the previous class, we were discussing about uh, comparatives. Do you remember? Uh, yes. And how do you feel that topic? Is that a difficult or is an easy topic for you? What do you think? Um, for me, it's, it's a, a little difficult. <laughs> okay. That's what you do. That's what you think. It's a difficult? Um, in the in the irregular verbs. I'm sorry. Um, uh, en la parte de los verbos irregulares siento que me, me cuesta un poco. Ah, okay. Ah, uh, los adjetivos irregulares. Ah, eso, adjetivos irregulares. Ah, okay. Con los irregulares, pues básicamente solo son tres que digamos uh -huh. que no siguen la regla de de, de ponerle el e er tan sino que cambian totalmente. Entonces, lo único que, hay que, que se puede hacer con los irregulares es memorizarlos, porque como no siguen una red, pero bueno, no. solo estamos con, con tres irregular adjectives. So, I think that is Creo que okay. sí es posible um, eh, memorizarlos. Que solo son sí. los, los que están por ahí, ¿verdad? Son este, estos. Por ejemplo, saber que good cambia a better than, uh -huh. bad se dice worse than, y far se puede decir farther than y further than. Mm, ok. Yes. Serían eh, solamente esos tres. Sí, solamente esos tres son los um, comparativos irregulares, que es lo que hemos estado estudiando, ¿verdad? Cómo comparar. Uh -huh. Siempre las comparaciones son entre dos cosas, dos objetos, dos personas. Ajá, pero solamente entre dos. Um, y luego eso, los irregulares, pues recordar que no siguen las reglas que discutimos en esto que estaba acá anteriormente, ¿verdad? Y pues nada más recordar que si son de una sílaba, por ejemplo, estuvimos discutiendo de que las sílabas pues son los sonidos, cuántos sonidos escuchamos, básicamente, ¿verdad? Eh, que si son de una sílaba, por ejemplo, call, nice. So, es un, un sonido, es una sílaba, call, nice. Entonces, para comparar, eh, para hacer comparaciones con ellos, le agregamos el er y dan, ¿verdad? Colder than, nicer than. Eh, boring, que si son de dos o más sílabas, eh, eh, no se cambia el adjetivo, no se le pone el er, solamente se pone al principio more, luego el adjetivo tal cual y luego el tan. Aquí tenemos, por ejemplo, con boring, eh, para hacer la comparación nos queda more boring than. Eh, cuando es expensive, que también es de más de dos sílabas, more expensive than. Ahora, ¿cuándo sí vamos a agregar er a un adjetivo de dos sílabas? Cuando este adjetivo termine en Y. Entonces, a eso sí, sí los trabajamos con ER tan. Por ejemplo, tenemos early y happy. 
son de dos sílabas. Early, happy. Entonces, eh, al ser de dos sílabas, podríamos decir, ah, pero entonces entra acá a ponerle more eh, el adjetivo y el dan. Pero no, cuando terminan en Y, lo que se hace es que se cambia la Y por I latina, se agrega el ER, dan, así como con los de una sílaba. Solamente que hacemos ese cambio en la, en la I, de, de Y griega a I latina, eh, R y luego dan. Por ejemplo, early, earlier than, happy, happier than. Y pues cuando ellos tienen este patrón que tenemos una, eh, son de una sílaba, ¿Verdad? Y en esta sílaba tengo una consonante, una vocal y una consonante, y hay estrés, entonces en esos casos es donde se duplica la última consonante y se agrega ER. Por ejemplo, es en doble, bigger than, con doble R, hot, hotter than. Eh, y luego, pues, los irregulares que ya discutíamos solo son estos tres y es que no siguen estas reglas. Con ellos lo único que hacemos es memorizarlos. Eh, este ejercicio me parece que sí lo terminamos, ¿verdad? Sí. Uh -huh. Entonces, les tengo otro ejercicio. Siempre de los eh, compartidos. Ajá. El, siempre va a ir el, el, el adjetivo con el er y luego el dan o more adjetivo dan pero cuando ya se ha mencionado anteriormente lo que estamos comparando o va eh, este el comparativo al final no se opone el dan después este es algo que no lo mencionan acá pero vamos a estar haciendo un ejercicio eh, sé que pues algunos están desde el teléfono y se les hace un poco difícil como agarrar el control de la miri, pero si ustedes pueden eh, o quieren practicar tienen ustedes el control, me levantan la manita o ponen un, un mensaje en el chat de la miri porque mi celular a veces no lo ando a la mano. De hecho, ahorita lo tenía aquí en la noche. Um, all right. um, entonces. Vamos a, 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 a practicar y me dicen si ustedes quisieran el control de la meeting. Voy a hacer un new share. Y, ok. Este, no sé si pueden ver mi screen ahorita. Sí, se ve. Sí. Ok, sí. So, para seguir practicando, ya que el, el, el fin de el, el semana pasada nos acabamos el material de... de de práctica vamos a seguir con este. No sé si alguien quisiera el control para contestar. ¿No? No. Ok, entonces lo voy a hacer yo, pero ustedes me dicen la respuesta. Vamos a ver un voluntario. Australia is big, but Canada is And then I have a palette. So what do you have? One, two, or three. Vamos a decirlas como si tuvieran números. Mm -hmm. One, two, or three. Three. Uh, the number three. Okay. Yes. So we select bigger than. And we check. Yes, it is correct. So the sentence, Australia is big. But Canada is bigger than Australia. Very good. Now, mm -hmm. let's see. Okay, we have this. This is the second item. So it says that David is 185 centimeters tall. He is? One, two, or three? One. Wow. One said, okay, yes, that is correct. Taller than. So the sentence would be, David is 185 centimeters tall. He is taller than Andrew. I think that summer is than winter. 
two. Ajá, two, better. Y ese es de los irregular, ¿verdad? Como decir que algo es bueno, entonces en este es cambia a better. No podemos decir gooder. O sea, I think that summer is better than winter. That is correct. Thank you so much. Now let's move on. The next one. My brother, this, this restaurant is... One, two, or three. No, One, three. Um, more words. Uh, that's not possible. Um, butter. Um, butter. No, three. That's correct. Three words. Es un irregular. Es como para decir bad. No podemos decir butter porque es irregular. Entonces no sigue la regla del er. Acuérdense que bad. Good y far, they do not follow that rule. Esos tres son irregulares. Esos tres no los vamos a conjugar ni con more ni con el er, sino que ellos cambian. Entonces, por ejemplo, en este caso, bad cambia a words. ¿Se acuerdan a qué cambia good? Better. Uh, better. Better. Yeah. Far. Farther, ajá, farther or further. Y luego se agrega el dan, vea, eso es lo único. So, bad cambia a worse than. Good, better than. Far, farther than. Next. Number one. Number one. Number two. Why is number two? Are more difficult than. Uh huh. Por qué es el número dos? Why is the number two? Uh, because talking about two matters. Yes, excellent. Because it is the, it is uh, referring to two subjects. Son dos materias, two subjects, eh, math and science. Entonces, por eso, eh, ambos, digamos, que están casi que bien escritos, solo que is, si solo fuera un subject. Pero aquí estamos mencionando los dos de una vez. Estamos comparando dos subjects contra history. Entonces, are more difficult than. Okay, it is correct. Uh, okay, next. So what do you think for number six? Number two. 
true. That is correct. And we can check here. It is correct. Uh -huh. Porque pretty, el adjetivo como tal, pretty, termina en Y. Entonces, a esos pues se les cambia la Y por Y latina. Se agrega ER y luego el DAN. Y procedemos. Now, this one is the next. Number one. Number one. Number one. Harder than. Okay. As you can see, this is correct. Harder than. Uh, next. Number three. Number three. More dangerous than. Yes, it's correct. More dangerous than. Do you think that crossing a busy street is more dangerous than flying an airplane? Correct. Next. Number one. Excellent. As you can see, number one is correct. It's more delicious than. Number two. Number two. Yes, correct. Javier, ahí ya no vamos a mencionar el dan porque ya se mencionaron ambos, eh, en este caso, animales que estamos comparando. Los elefantes asiáticos eh, son más pes son pesados. Los elefantes asiáticos son pesados, pero los elefantes africanos son aún más pesados, heavier. Entonces, como ya se mencionaron, ya no tiene sentido poner dan otra vez. Entonces, cuando va al final, no se pone el dan, solo el, el adjetivo haciendo la comparación heavier. Y ya no es necesario el dan, porque acuérdense que el dan es como decir, eh, en este caso sería los, si fuera los elefantes asiáticos eh, son más pesados que los africanos, ahí sí. Uh, Asian elephants are heavier than, más pesados que qué. Entonces tengo que seguir eh, y decir la otra cosa, pero en este caso, en esta oración, ya se mencionaron las dos cosas que se van a comparar. Entonces, ya no se pone el dan. Era lo que les mencionaba al principio de la clase. Que el dan se omite en estos casos. Cuando ya los, 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 eh, los nombres o las cosas que estamos comparando ya fueron mencionadas antes del final de la oración. Uh, let's continue. Number three. That is correct. Uh -huh. Excellent. Thank you so much. Larry. My uncle is taller than my father, but my father is older. <laughs> so very good. Uh, 12. Let's see. 
Give me the answer for 12. Number two. Yes, number two is the correct answer. It's more relaxing. Reading a book with a nice uh, hot cup of tea is more relaxing than doing exercise. Correct. Now let's see the number 13. What's the best answer? Number one. That is correct. Better. So, el es irregular, so no es, el, no es good, jamás. <laughs> good is a better. Y como pues va al final, no puede decir good than ni better than. So, very good. Now, let's see the number 14. Taking a taxi to work. Number three. Yes, the number three is the correct answer. It's more expensive right. than taking a bus to work. And let's continue with the number 15. Number two. Number one. Okay, what, why number one or two? Two. Two, Saturdays? One. one. Yes, the number one. Is the correct one because Saturdays está en plural. Entonces, como los sábados. Es, <laughs> yes, uh -huh, Saturdays are nicer than Mondays. Están en plural. Uh -huh, por eso are. Uh, now, 16. I think this is the last item. Number two. We are done with this. Did you like the exercise? Yes. Nice. I'm going to share with you the link. Les voy a compartir el link. Uh, maybe via WhatsApp, right? Between WhatsApp, así les queda. Para que lo, si quieren volver a ver el ejercicio, si quieren practicar más con los eh, es comparatives, eh, ahí les voy a estar dejando el enlace. Se lo voy a poner aquí en la meeting chat también. Por si lo quieren seguir practicando. So, next class is going to be... Sí. Hola. Uh -huh. Se acaba de ir la energía eléctrica aquí en mi casa. Así que por si se me va el inter, ya es por eso. Oiga. Ok. Sorry to hear that. Uh -huh. Ojalá, venga luego. Okay, I already sent the link. Yes. Okay, yeah, let me see. Yeah, let's call your own back.
Oh, okay, so continuing with the material, now that we've practiced a little bit more the comparatives, um, preferences, comparison with adjectives. Ya pues habíamos discutido las, eh, cómo hacer los eh, comparativos usando adjetivos. Vimos el spelling, eh, cómo algunos cambian, como por ejemplo los que eh, llevan eh, Y eh, al final. Solo cambiamos por y latina, agregamos er como pretty, prettier, eh, big, que ya dijimos que si son de una sílaba y esta sílaba va con consonante, vocal, consonante, se duplica la última consonante. Si acaso lleva ese patrón y si hay estrés, de lo contrario, no. Entonces, ya big, bigger, con doble g. Y pues, eh, no sé, ya practicamos un poquito por ahí y acá tenemos... Estos adjectives que nos aparecen aquí en el grammar box, eh, si recuerdan en la conversación anterior que practicamos, eh, estaban hablando sobre sweaters, estaban viendo, comparando qué suéter comprar, por qué, cuáles eran las características, etc. Entonces, siguiendo con ese tema, tenemos aquí eh, algunos ejemplos de preguntas y respuestas. Uh, which sweater do you prefer? And I say, I prefer the blue one. Y volvemos a la anterior, ¿verdad? Que el one es para no repetir otra vez sweater, que ya lo dijimos en la pregunta, sweater. Entonces sería como muy repetitivo volver a decir, I prefer the blue sweater. Which sweater do you prefer? I prefer the blue sweater. So in order to avoid repetitions, eh, se usa el one y si es plural sería once uh, which one do you like more i like the blue one more which one do you like better i like the blue one better you just say like comparison is nicer than the green one it's prettier than the green one it's more stylish than the green one and then uh, we're going to complete the comp the conversations, as you can see, we have uh, three conversations. Tenemos tres conversaciones ahí y las tenemos que completar usando los adjectives que están ahí en paréntesis. Y pues ahí tienen el grammar focus como guía. Le voy a dar tiempo para que lo hagan, ya sea que lo hagan en sus cuadernos o eh, que lo hagan en su material, eh, si lo han impreso o si lo tienen en la computadora. I'll give you time and then we're going to check.
finish. Okay, would you like to have the control to complete the number one? Okay, Glenda, you have the control to complete the number one. You just have to complete that number one using the adjectives in parentheses, sorry, your notes. Okay, so you have, I prefer the letter one. The design is nicer and it looks, okay. And it looks. Okay. I think that you're ready. I think it looks. more expensive um more expensive bar Okay, uh, recordemos que cuando son adjetivos largos, uh, thank you, Glenda. Okay. Okay, uh, when they are like long adjectives, son adjetivos largos como expensive. En este caso solo agregamos more al principio y dejamos el adjetivo tal cual, así, expensive, more expensive, y luego agregamos el than, more expensive than the wool one. Es que me costó usar el, el control ahora, no sé por qué. Than, than, than. Y yeah, se está rehusando un poco. <laughs> but thank you so much, Linda. Okay. Very good. Thank you so much. Now, number two, a volunteer for number two, please. Is that a volunteer for number two? Me. Alexander, you can start typing, typing the answer.
Okay, there you go. Aquí vamos a subirlo, solo hace clic aquí en la, en la barrita azul para que puedan, aquí en esta partecita azul, ahí ustedes lo mueven y lo ubican donde quieran. Si ya estamos bien acá, pues ahí lo suelta. Ajá, luego para borrar, solo es el bar y para hacer la letra más pequeña es acá, reducir el tamaño del texto. Ok, le dejo que continúe. Okay. Let me help you. I think that pretty or ya lo puso. Entonces es more. Ok, ya lo ubiqué ahí el mouse. <laughs> ok. No funciona en el celular. Sí, cuesta un poco más. Sí. Es more attractive. Dan. More attractive than. Ajá, ahí más o, más o menos vemos. Ok, thank you so much. Entonces ahí queda more attractive than. Very good. Thank you so much, Alexander. Eh, a volunteer for number. Oh, Jesus. Let me start here. <laughs> um, Mm -hmm. That's good. Okay, and uh, number three, volunteer for number three. Volunteer for number No volunteer? Okay, so you can give me the answer, right? I know it's difficult with controlling the screen. So um, what are the answers here? What do you think? I like the silver ones. They are. 
Bigger than. Bigger than. Excellent. L W G, right? Bigger than. Yes. Bigger than. They are bigger than the gold ones, and they are. Cheaper. cheaper. Excellent. Cheaper. Okay, now let us practice the conversations like the three ones. Volunteers to role play the three conversations. Okay, uh, Pedro, let's practice the conversations. I start. Which of these jackets do you like more? Uh, I prefer the leather. The design is nice, nicer, and it looks more fancy than the good one. Okay. Um... These shirts are nice. Which one do you prefer? I like the green and white one better. The color are prettier. It's more attractive than the gray and black one. Which of these earrings do you like better? I like the silver one it's more. They are bigger than the gold, the gold one, and they are cheaper. Okay, very good. Thank you so much, Pedro. Do we have two more volunteers? No? Hi. Okay, Alexander. And who wants to practice with Alexander? I volunteer to practice with Alexander. Pedro, can you read the questions in Alexander is B? You answer? Um, which, which of these jackets do you like more? I prefer the little one. Their design is nicer. And it looks more, more expensive than the wool one. These t-shirts are nice. Which one do you prefer? I like the green and white one better. The color are pretty. It's more attractive than the gray and black one. Which earring do you like better? I like the silver one more. They are bigger than the wolf one and they are cheaper. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Pedro and Alexander. Can you ask now the questions to Emperatriz? I... Which of this jacket do you like more? Emperatriz? Hola, hola, teacher. Si me puede mover, por favor, para leer el primero. La pantalla. Mover, like, así, más grande. No, no, no. O sea, hacerlo más no, para no, la no, derecha. Claro. Hacerla más pequeña o más grande, porque moverla. Más pequeña, más pequeña, quizás, porque no alcanzo a ver el, el número uno. No, teacher, no lo veo. Okay, no problem. Ask Glenda. Hello. Alexander, ask Glenda. Okay. okay. Which of this jacket do you like more? I prefer the leather one. The design is nicer. And it looks, perdón. <laughs> More fancy <laughs> the world one. Sorry. <laughs> okay. These 
t-shirts are nice. Which one do you prefer? I like the green and white one bird. The color are pretty. It's more attractive than the gray and black one. Which earrings do you like better? I like the silver ones more. They are bigger than the gold ones and they are cheaper. Excellent. Now, Glenda, can you ask Douglas? Which of these jackets do you like more? I prefer the leather one. The design is nicer and it looks more expensive than the world one. These t-shirts are nice. Which one do you prefer? I like the green and white one wearer. The colors are prettier. It's more attractive than the gray and black one. Which earrings do you like better? I like the silver ones more. They are bigger than the gold ones and they are cheaper. Excellent. Very well done. Thank you so much. Now we have one exercise here and well, um, right and compare, comparing prices. Vamos a estar comparando precios y escoger, eh, escribir algunas oraciones. How much does this thing cost in your company? Complete the chart and then compare prices in your country with the prices in the United States. Um, it is a price in my country and price in the United States. Ahí tenemos los precios. Uh, for example, a cup of coffee in the United States is $1.40. A movie ticket in the United States costs $12.50. A, a paperback novel is $8.95 and a video game is $50. And then write price in the countries, like for example here, well, it depends, right? Eh, dependerá, por ejemplo, yo aquí, a, a cup of coffee, ¿cuánto cuesta en, aquí en El Salvador? Mm, depende, ¿verdad? ¿Cuánto cuesta? Am, am, anda costando una taza de café. Depende de dónde la compre. Depende, ¿verdad? Puede valer hasta que tres, cuatro dólares. Uh, Ok, so, depende, si usted la compra de esas de 3 o 4 dólares, eso le va a poner aquí. Por ejemplo, podríamos ponerle eh, $3.99. O de pronto me gusta más, eh, no pienso que un café deba de valer tanto y prefiero los de la tecleña. ¿Cuánto valen? ¿Qué? ¿90 centavos? ¿Cuánto vale un café por ahí? No, más o menos, ¿verdad? Well, 90 cents, vamos a decir 90 cents. O dependerá de lo que yo ponga aquí, voy a, uh -huh. a escribir. Por ejemplo, tengo aquí en esta cajita uh -huh. azul el ejemplo como lo van a estar haciendo. Por ejemplo, primero ponemos el precio y luego decimos, many things are more expensive in my country than in the United States. For example, a cup of coffee costs about two dollars at home. In the U.S., it's cheaper. O si yo le pongo un precio aquí barato, por ejemplo, many things are cheaper in my country than in the United States. For example, a cup of coffee costs about 90 cents at home and in the U.S. is uh, more expensive. It's 140. Depende de lo que ustedes escriban acá. Así van a ir describiendo los precios y haciendo la comparación aquí. Luego vamos a escribir like a movie ticket. Uh, I don't recall. A um, movie ticket is like seven dollars. No recuerdo cuánto vale un movie ticket aquí. Pero no, no vale más de cinco dólares o siete. Cuatro y, y monedas. Ok, ajá, cuatro y algo, casi cinco dólares. Podemos poner que vale cinco dólares. Thank you. Y ahí depende de lo que usted vaya poniendo, va a ir escribiendo aquí. A movie ticket post. Um, Etc. I'll give it time and then we're going to share.
que es paperback teacher. Es eh, una novela en papel, como un libro. Ok, thanks. Finish. Okay, thank you. Would you like to read your paragraph or sentences? Todas. The three of them. Um, a cup of coffee. Um, uh, 125. It's cheaper the USA. Okay, it's cheaper than in the USA. A cup of coffee. Uh, 6 a movie ticket. Six dollar. It's it's cheaper than the USA. Than in the USA. Uh huh. A paperback novel, uh, $10. It's more expensive than the USA. Uh -huh. uh, a video game, uh, 350 It's more Okay, so I guess that you wrote the price for every video game console. Todo el, la console. <laughs> ah, okay, oh. okay. Uh huh. Sí, porque de todos modos ahí no dice verdad que es. Oh, that that's okay. Ah, no. Uh mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, continue with the last one. Mm -hmm. Is that all? Thank you so much. Um, now another volunteer. Glenda finished first. Ella terminó, las hizo las tres y los demás cuatro. Yeah. Finish. Would you like to read yours? 
Can you read yours, please? A volunteer to read. Todas o solo una. Todas. Si las tiene todas, si no, si solo tiene una o dos, that's fine. Yes. A good coffee costs about a cup of three coffee. dollars at home. Mm -hmm. In the United States, it's cheaper. It's only one dollar forty cents. One dollar forty. Forty cents. Okay. Forty cents. Okay. A movie ticket costs about five dollars at home. In the United States, it's more expensive. It's it costs uh, twelve dollars and fifty cents. A uh, okay. paper back novel costs about ten dollars at home. In the United States, it's cheaper. It's only eight dollar ninety five cents. Pain costs about seventy five dollars at home. It's more expensive. More expensive. It costs. No, ya me confundí, teacher. Me equivoqué en la última. Ok, thank you so much, Alexander. Ok, now, uh, to finish with this unit uh, or section, we have this reading, Tools for the Better Shopping. I'm going to read the number one. It says, scan the article and find the names of popular websites. Do you use any of them for shopping? Number one. Do you like to shop online? Like millions of people, you want to find the best things for the best price. There are so many choices that it can be difficult to find the things you need and want. Here is the technology comes in. Popular websites like Facebook and Twitter aren't just social networking anymore. Let's read number two, volunteer. Volunteer to read the number two. Websites, Facebook. Me. Thank you, Douglas. The website, Facebook, and Twitter are popular because people can connect to friends and get their most recent news. But people also use these sites as powerful shopping tools. Members can ask about and I think and then get opinions from people they trust. It's Twitterers, como con it, Twitterers. Twitterers. Twitterers can also search for news from other users and then think a source nearby the sell the item. eating. Okay, really good, Douglas. Thank you so much for helping us. Um, yes, let's see. Um, recent, es palabra? Recent. It's like, con, como que fuera con I. Uh, recent. Recent. Very good, recent. Uh -huh. And let's see the other one. Uh, nearby. 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 nearby yes excellent nearby thank you so much my goodness and uh, let's see i volunteer to continue reading and uh, we okay there you have the number three volunteer me okay thank you another helpful shopping tools in the smart is the smartphone the smartphone users can go into to a store, find an item they like, and they type the item number to their smartphone. They can compare price, read new, read review, 
and make better decisions about their purses. Many people find a better price only online or at another store. People often want to see and touch an item before the buy. They can do they can do use that and pay a lower price too. Okay, thank you so much for mm -hmm. reading. Let us review some uh, words like, for example, item. 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 Mm -hmm. item. And see, purchase. Purchase. Come on, come on. Oh, purchase. 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 Uh huh. Very good. And um, that's it. Thank you so much for reading. And now let's move to number four. I volunteer to read the number four. Me. Thank you so much, Melinda. But you don't have to be a Facebook or Twitter member or have a smartphone to find a bargain website, websites like a shop. That's the name of the app, Shopzilla. Shopzilla. Shopzilla compare price, give review and find store near you with the best bargain. Google does all these things, but also lets you buy items directly through each site. Be a smart super the information you need is at your fingertips. Okay, fingertips, uh-huh, fingertips, fingertips. Thank you so much, Linda. Let's review one more time. Um, uh, find a bargain, bargain. Bargain. Uh-huh, what is a bargain? Do you remember? ¿Qué es una bargain? Ganga. Una ganga, yes, correct. Bargain. Uh, Let's continue reviewing and uh, one more thing, uh, item, items. And the word next to it, directly, die, directly, directly, directly. Yes. Okay, that's said about reading and implementation. Now, we have to read the article again, if necessary. Um, si es necesario, pueden le le leer el artículo otra vez. Y say, vamos a hacer, answer the questions and write the number of paragraphs where you find each answer. How are Shopzilla and Google similar? What are, the, what are Twitter users called? How do smartphones help find bargains? What are two social networking types? Okay, let us uh, answer those questions and then we will share the answers.
Okay, have you finished? Are you need more time? Solo el número y vamos a poner de, de la respuesta. Uh, the number and then the answer. Primero van a poner en qué párrafo encontraron la respuesta y luego cuál es la respuesta. Por ejemplo, aquí la primera, en qué párrafo está la respuesta de esta pregunta. How are Shopzilla and Google similar? En el número cuatro. In the number four. And what is the answer? ¿Cuál es Compare. la respuesta? Ajá. Uh -huh. Compare price, give reviews, um, find store near, near. Okay, yes, correct. Thank you so much. Uh, it is on uh, paragraph number four. And they compare prices, give reviews, and find the stores near, near you with the best bargain. So I think it, that is a very, very nice benefit that they uh, find the stores near to you. So you don't have to be uh, um, searching for that information. It's already there for you. That's nice. Thank you so much. And then the number, the letter B, a volunteer for letter B. Volunteer for letter B. Nobody has B. What are Twitter users called? ¿Cómo le llaman a los usuarios de Twitter? What are they called? Nobody has that answer? You can find it in, in the number two. Number and two. they are called tweeters. Tweeters. They are called tweeters. Yes. In paragraph number two, and they are called tweeters like this. Uh, letter C. How do you, how do smartphones help find bargains? How? Como? Como es que ayudan a encontrar Cachadas. Number three. In number three, okay. And what is the answer? How do they help? Um, quiero ver. Espere. <laughs> Users can go into a store 
open and eat them, they like and then tie the item. item. Type item the number. item number uh -huh. into their smartphone. Uh, yes, simple as that. Very good. Thank you so much. And let's see, what are two social networking sites? What are two social networking sites? What number are two one. networking sites? It's just a number one. Uh huh. And what is the answer? It is in number one. And what is the answer? Facebook and Twitter. Facebook and Twitter. Yes, they are Facebook and Twitter. Now, the next part of this exercise is part B. According to the article, which shopping tools do these things? Check the correct boxes. Um, okay. Get opinions from friends. Find product review. Compare prices. Find the stores with items you want and buy items directly. You have to check here. Facebook, Twitter, smartphone, Shopzilla, or Google. Which one get opinion from friends? Find product reviews, compare prices. Find the stores with items you want and buy items directly. If you need to read back again, you can go ahead and do it. If you need to read again, there it is. Okay, in which of these can you get opinions from friends? Facebook and Twitter. Twitter? Only Twitter? Facebook. Okay, and yes. 
Yes, you check Twitter and Facebook. Uh, where can you find product review? Find product review. Nobody has that answer. Where can you find product reviews? Chocilla and smartphone. Uh, yes, Chocilla and a smartphone. Excellent. Uh, compare prices. Which of these can compare prices? Facebook and Twitter. Shopzilla mm. and Google. Yes, Shopzilla and Google. Uh, find stores with items you want. Find stores with items you want. Facebook and Google. Yes, Google and? Facebook. Uh, mm, yes, I think fa Facebook have that answer too. Buy items directly. Chocilla and Google. Okay, very well done. So now with this, we finish that part. And also I remember I shared, let me see. Mm. Sí, recuerdo que les había mandado la... Ay, pero déjenme revisar. Okay. I think, it, yes, I sent it early this morning. En la mañana les mandé ya lo de la sección 4, que la empezaríamos ahorita. And we start by talking about uh, music. As you can see here, we have the different kinds of music. So we have rock, other, classical, jazz, gospel, hip hop, R&B, pop, country, and new age. Um, any question about that vocabulary, about the different types of music? No questions? Okay, if there are no questions, we have this exercise. We're going to listen and number the musical styles from one to nine. So as you can see, there is a little box here in una pequeña cajita para poner el número de los estilos musicales del 1 al 9. Unit 4. I really like hip hop. Page 22, exercise 1, snapshot. Listen and number the musical styles from 1 to 9. 1. Two. Five. 
six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Let's listen one more time. One more time. Okay. Unit four. I really like hip hop. Page 22, exercise one, snapshot. Listen and number the musical styles from one to nine. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Okay, so what do you have in number one? Yes. Well, okay. Seven. Ten. Number one is Jess. <laughs> number one is yes. Jess. Number yes. two? Yes. Yes. Number two. Maybe Pop. Yeah, it is correct. Number two is Pop. Number three. Oh, that is gospel. Gospel music. Number four. Classic or classic. Yes. Number five. Hip hop. Hip hop. <laughs> you know a lot, I see. Number six. Country. Exactly. Country. Yeah, that's correct. Uh, seven. Rock. 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 All right, excellent. Number eight. New era. New age. Oh, R and B, written in blue. Yeah. And nine. New, New age. age. 
I know that you, I see that you know a lot about music. Good. Uh, well, in the next exercise you have there is vocabulary. Uh, we have the word power here and uh, we need to complete the word map with words that we have here in this list. The words are action, electronic, game show, heavy metal, horror, musical, reality show, reggae, salsa, science fiction, soap opera, talk show. Do you have any question about the vocabulary? Is the vocabulary clear? Is all the vocabulary clear? No hay preguntas con vocabulary este que acabo de leer. No. Tenemos que poner en el mapa las palabras que correspondan a cada cosita. Entertainment, and we have the three categories: TV program, music, and music. So, for example, for um, what is action? Action would be for TV program, music, or movies. Movies. Okay, so yeah, we have to write down here action. Write it down here. And you will do the same with the rest of them. Let me know when you're ready. Yeah, teacher. Okay, uh, let me know. What do you have? Um, more movies. Okay, we have action. What else do you have? What else do you have besides action? Movies. Horror. Okay, action, horror. What else? Action fiction. 
Science, okay, science fiction. And musical. Electronic. It's movie or, or, or music. Uh, uh, it's okay, here you have it. Yes, it is a movie. So your answers are correct, it's action, or musical and science fiction. Uh, for TV programs, you should have game show, reality show, stop opera, and talk show. For music, electronics, heavy metal, again, and salsa. Yes, okay, good. Now, we have uh, this conversation. I think that we still have time to practice it. Yes. Okay, I'm going to play the recording for you to listen. Just listen. This uh, right now, only listen, and then we're going to have time to um, discuss new vocabulary and to practice this conversation. <laughs> Page 23, Exercise 3, Conversation. Who's your favorite singer? Part A, Listen and Practice. Do you like country music, Brian? No, I don't like it very much. Do you? Yeah, I do. I'm a big fan of Taylor Swift. I think I know her. Does she play the guitar? Yes, she does. She's a really good musician. So, what kind of music do you like? I really like hip-hop. Oh, yeah? Who's your favorite singer? Jay-Z. Do you like him? No, I don't. I don't like hip-hop very much. Okay, questions about vocabulary? I think this vocabulary is really friendly. <laughs> no questions, right? Okay, I'm going to play the recording once again. If you don't have any question, no tienen preguntas del vocabulario, no. Who is kind? Hmm? Who is kind? Oh, kind es como decir que eh, tipo. For example, oh. kind in this case, what kind of music? Qué tipo de música? ¿Qué tipo de música, qué clase de música te gusta? That is fine. Thank you. What kind of music? Okay, you're welcome. Any other questions? All right, I'm going to play the recording once again. Y todos con el micrófono off. Vamos a repetir en casa. Recuerden que voy a poner el recording y luego le voy a dar pausa para darles chance que primero escuchen y después repitan. Page 23, Exercise 3, Conversation. Who's your favorite singer? Part A, Listen and Practice. Do you like country music, Brian? No. Do you like country music, Brian? No, I don't like it very much. Do you? Yeah. Do you? Yeah, I do. I'm a big fan of Taylor Swift. I think I know her. Does she play the guitar? Yes, she does. She's a really good musician. So, what kind of music do you like? I really like hip-hop. Oh, yeah? Who's your favorite singer?
Jay-Z? Do you like him? No, I don't. I don't like hip hop very much. Okay, we have volunteers to work by the conversation. Okay. Me. Okay, I have Alexander and who wants to practice with Alexander? Me. Linda, okay, you can start, Linda. You go first. Do you like country music, Brian? No, I don't like it very much. Do you? Yeah, I do. I'm a big fan of Taylor Swift. I think I know her. Does she play the guitar? Yes, she does. She's a really good musician. She so, pardon, so, <laughs> what king of music do you like? What, what kind, remember, what kind? What kind of music do you like? I really like hip hop. Oh, yeah, who's your favorite singer? JC, do you like him? No, I don't I don't like hip hop very much. Okay, excellent. You did it really good. Now change. Uh, Alexander, you start. Okay. Do you like country music, Brian? No, I don't like it very much. Do you? Yeah, I do. I'm a big fan of Taylor Swift. I think I know her. Does she play the guitar? Yes, she does. She's a really good music musician. musician. Yes, musician. So what kind of music do you like? So what kind I of really music? like hip hop. I really like hip hop. Oh yeah. Who is your favorite singer? JC, do you like him? No, I don't. I don't like hip hop very much. But, okay, there you go. Pretty good. Thank you so much for practicing. Uh, do we have two more volunteers? I have. Me? Okay, Pedro no. and Emperatriz. Very good. You okay. start, Emperatriz. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you like country music, Brian? No, I don't like it very much. Do you? Jay, okay. I do. I'm a big fan of Tyler Sue. I think I know her. Does she play the guitar? Yes, she does. She does. She has really good music. So what kind of music do you like? I really like hip hop. Oh, Jay. What's your favorite singer? Jay Z. Do you like him? No, I don't. I don't like hip hop very much. Okay, thank you. Okay, just two things. Remember kind, kind, kind. and yes, kind. Mm. And let's see what it is. Um, and the other is favorite. Favorite. Excellent, favorite. Now you start, Pedro. Um, do you like country music, Brian? No, I don't like it very much, do you? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I do a big fan of Taylor Swift. I think I know her. Does she play the guitar? Yeah, she does. She's a really good musician. So kind of music do you like? I really like hip hop. Yeah. Who's your favorite singer? Jesse, do you like him? No, I don't. I don't like hip hop very much. Okay. Okay, that yes. sounds better. Um, anybody else? Alguien más que quisiera ser golpe? Douglas. Douglas. Ay. <laughs> 
<laughs> Do you want to help Douglas, Pedro? Yes. Okay. Uh, Douglas, start. Okay. Do you like country music, Brian? No, I don't like it very much. Do you? Yeah, I do. I'm a bad. I'm a big fan of Taylor Swift. I see. I know her. Does she play the guitar? Yes, she does. She's a really good musician. So, what kind of music do you like? I really like hip hop. Oh yeah. What's your favorite singer? Jay Z. Do you like him? No, I don't. I don't like hip hop very much. Great. Okay, now you start, Pedro. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, um, yeah, you start. Do you like country music, Brian? No, I don't like it very much. Do you? Yeah, I do. I'm a big fan of Taylor Swift. I think I know her. Does she play the guitar? Yes, yeah, she does. She's a really good musician. So kind of music, do you like it? Do you like? I really like hip hop. Oh yeah, who's your favorite singer? Yeah, you see, do you like it? No, I don't. I don't like hip hop very much. Very fluent, very fluid. <laughs> now listen to the rest of the conversation. Solo vamos a escuchar el el resto de la conversación y a responder estas dos preguntas. Who is Brian's favorite group? And does Marisa like them? Let's listen. Page 23, exercise 3, part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. Who is Brian's favorite group? Does Marissa like them? What about groups, Brian? Who do you like? Oh, I like a lot of different groups. I guess my favorite group is Green Day. Green Day? Really? Why? Don't you like them? No, I don't. I guess they have some good songs, but they're very noisy. Did you get the information or you want to listen one more time? Who's Brian's favorite group? Green Day is. Green favorite. Day, uh -huh. Green Day is his favorite group. Excellent. And does Marisa like them? Don't like her. Uh, no, she doesn't. She doesn't like them. Okay, that was pretty, pretty easy. Right, so we started the section number four today. Remember to work on your platform if you need any help. Just um, We are just a chat away. Don't forget that. I hope that you enjoyed the rest of your afternoon and see you next Saturday, correct? Correct. Okay, awesome. I hope you enjoy. See you then. Bye-bye. Bye, teacher. Bye, thank you. See you. Bye-bye, teacher. Gracias Bye. por todo. Bless you.